Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mohsin and today I'm going to teach you how to do the perspiculum and how to take pap smear. As every procedure has some indications and some contraindications, indications of perspiculum is if we need to utilize the lower gender tract of females and if we need to take sample for pap smear and swear if there is any kind of discharge. Contraindications of this procedure is if there is no consent, if there is severe pelvic trauma, if she is virgin and if there is any kind of cyst or if there is any kind of uterine prolapse, we can't do this procedure. Alright, so now I'm going to explain the things we need for this procedure. First of all, we need this speculum. This is Cusco speculum. It has three parts. These two parts are the blades, then the, this is the back handle, this is the front handle, and this is the light loosening and the tightening nut. So how to hold this speculum? So doctors have the back handle, your thumb should be here, your ring finger should be here, and the front handle, your middle finger should be here, and your index finger should be here. So you can open and close it like this. So it should be in your control, how to open and close it. So back handle, thumb and your ring finger and middle finger and your index finger should be at this front handle like this, all right? So now next we need gloves definitely, then we need this gel, lubricating gel. And if it is indicated to do the pap smear, then we need this cervical brush and there will be two solutions. Either one of them will be there. So this is thin trap and this is sure path, all right? So now, before starting this procedure, we need to explain the patient what we are going to do, position, exposure and the shape room as well. So what we are going to do, we need to tell the patient I am going to insert the lubricated instrument to your front passage. It might be a bit comfort, uncomfortable, and, but we will be using lubricating gel during this procedure to make it more comfortable. Position would be lithotomy position, means she would be lying on her back with heels toward her buttocks and knees fall apart, alright. Exposure would be, uh, we need to expose her below the waist and a member of the medical team would be as, uh, with us to ensure her privacy and dignity, that is chef from with us. Alright, so now going to start the procedure. First of all, we need to wear the gloves. After wearing the gloves, before starting this procedure, doctor, we need to inspect. So first we will be inspecting from the point to look for any discharge, any bleeding, if there is any kinomyces or any vaginality or any abnormality. Then we will be touching her, letting her know that we are going to touch you and look for any abnormality, part the labias, look for any abnormality. Then next we will ask her to cough. Can you please cough? and to look for any uterine prolapse. So three things in inspection, looking and parting the labia, then looking and then asking her to cough. Now we are moving towards the procedure to insert the speculum. Before that, doctor, it is so important to ask that if there is any kind of pain and ask her to empty her bladder. This is so important for this procedure. So after that, we will take the speculum and we will apply gel on the blades. Right, both sides of the blade, then let her know that I'm going to insert, hold it like I have told you before. Alright, so it should be under your control. Now let her know that I'm going to insert, part the labias with your non dominant hand and insert. So handle should be in 3 o'clock position. Alright, insert it, insert it, and then when you have inserted fully, then operate it to the 12 o'clock position. After that, you should open the blades and tighten the nut and look inside with the help of source of light for any cervical atropion, any vaginal uh, uh, voltaires, any cervical masses, any abnormality there. The next doctors, if it is indicative that you need to take the pap smear, then you need to uh, use this brush to take the pap smear. So pap smear has some contraindications and some indications. Indications of this procedure is to screen for any cervical cancer and contraindications of this procedure is if there is any kind of vaginal bleeding, any menstrual bleeding, if she is pregnant, if she had any recent sexual activity or if there is any use of spermicidal gel. Alright, after that we are going to insert, we should now the patient and we are going to insert this. So insert and take the sample for the cervical wall, you need to insert and rotate it five times. 360 degree. It should be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Make sure you are not uh, going to touch the blades. Then take it out. Okay, And then if the uh, solution available is thin prep, you are going to dip it 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then discard this push. Right? And if the solution available is the thin prep, the 
sure path then what you are going to do you are simply going to detach this wash here like this and then discard this one all right after that you need to take this out you need to take it out in the same way you have inserted so you are going to loosen the nut close the blades make sure you are not going to uh, close the blades fully to avoid any pinching or general wall rotate in three upper position again and let the patient know, know that you are going to take it out take it out look for any bleeding discharge and if it is disposable just uh, discard this as well and after that you need to, uh, to offer her the tissue paper and ask her to, to clean herself and then cover herself as well then label this and send it to the lab and explain her that she will get results in three to seven days and there might be some kind of spotting of this procedure this is quite normal thank you so much this is all thank you